Hey guys, this is Cindy. Um, sorry that it's been taking me so long to come back up here on YouTube, but I, I do have some project shares and I really hope you enjoy these type of videos. Um, sometimes I'm not sure if I should share my projects or if I should continue um, doing tutorials. I did notice that when I do tutorials, there's less views, but the reason for that is I'm not sure if people are interested, like my subscribers, I'm not sure if you guys are interested because I do get a lot of views on haul videos. So that's why I try to record only haul videos. So, but I did wanted to share what I made. So I'll, I'm in this swap, it's um, Christmas in July over on Instagram. And I did get a swap partner and this is what I created for her. So as a little like little note, thank you card, I made her this quick three by three card. I did use, um, I believe is honeybee. I do have the items here. I'm gonna take it out, put it here. It's the, I just got these by the way, cause they had their 4th of July sale. I got the coffee break. So I got the stamp and the die. And if you believe, can you believe it or not? Um, I lost a die that cuts this leaf and I'm very upset because I can't find it anywhere on my scrap room. And my fear is that it got stuck in my shoe and I went outside and I lost it somewhere outside because I cleaned my scrap room, I swept it and I haven't seen anything. I even look under the furniture and I just can't find it. So I'm going to have to fuzzy cut this around if I want to use it. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I did. And the paper collection, I'll be right back. Um, let me take it out for you guys. Is that, um... It's a paper collection that I pick up at Tuesday morning. It's on Magical Holidays. I saw it from NC Invites. Um... I'm not sure if it was earlier this year or last year, but I picked up two of these because, well, I think I only got the one because when I went back, I couldn't find the other one. So I used that paper collection. So this is the first one. And this is the second one, which I already packaged. This is a hug and a mug. And I used a coffee dye from Honeybee. I made it like into a coffee unicorn theme coffee gift card holder so there's that one here's this one very simple sorry I already packaged it and I made her a coffee sleeve and this and then I added some like little um diamond dust this I purchased at eBay because I couldn't find it anywhere at Hobby Lobby nor Michaels like um I don't frequent those places a lot anymore so uh, just to save myself some time I ordered this from eBay it was like seven dollars or something with shipping so I made this this is the unicorn using the uh, die from Spellbinders which let me take it out for you too just in case that one I did bought it off from Spellbinder website sorry about that I think it was like three dollars or 250 because they were like on clearance or something so I use that and the cupcake um, holders. I use um, um, little cupcakes that I got from Tuesday morning. Very simple. And for this marshmallows, I use the Elizabeth Craft dies, the marshmallow ones. This is called Toasted Marshmallows 1571. Not sure if that matters, but I use that one. I use these marshmallows. I think it came out super cute and I inked it with, um, I don't remember, let me see, oh yeah, Salmon says stamps burly beige around the edges, so I thought it came out super cute, so that's that, the, these are these, that's that, and then um, Elizabeth Crafts uh, was having a sale, I think it was like 50% off, and um, I purchased this star die, this star box. I, was, I got in love. I was in love when I first saw it on the video. What is this called? Star pillow box. So this is how it looked. I picked it up for $15, which I was super like excited because I think it's like $30 originally. So I made this cute little um, star box for her. Super cute. I used the same. I wish I would have... I should have added the diamond dust around the edge, but I completely forgot. 
So then I use like this little die that I had in my stash. I don't know who that is from. Honestly, I have no idea, but I did purchase it from a fellow YouTuber who no longer um, scrapbooks. And in this box, I cut out a lot of die pieces for her. Uh, let me see. So this is how it looks inside. So I cut out little pieces like coffee, more unicorn, another little, um, um, what are those things called? Gloves, mittens, this, some little die pieces for her to play with, you know, honestly not a whole lot. So I did put it here in this box for her. So I'm going to try to put it back in. And you, when you cut out die pieces, you make sure they're small enough where it can fit in this box. Because I thought it was, this box was going to be a little bit a little bit bigger, but it's not. So, and I have to shove everything in there. And then you just close it up like that. I'm so I'm so tired. I just got off from work, but I really wanted to um share with you my projects just in case. And then the last things that I did was um these little cute mugs. Um this coffee cup is from I don't remember. Oh my god, why don't I remember where is this coffee dye cup from? <gasps> oh my god. Oh, it's from Elizabeth Crafts. So sorry. Let me see if I can get that one out for you guys. Yeah. Okay. So it's the hot chocolate one. So this is the cup that I use. And um, so this was my first one. And I got inspired by this shirt that I picked up at Target for, for my friend's daughter. And this is the shirt. So I got inspired from this one see so cute if you guys you know want to like take a screenshot of this and recreate it go ahead and feel free um so i picked up that shirt from target and oh i took out the tag the price but yeah i got it at target if you guys are interested and um i use magical unicorn from pink fresh studio i don't know why this video is getting long it's not supposed to be this long it's supposed to be straightforward Sorry, it's just I'm all over the place. So here's the ears and the horn is somewhere around there. I, I don't know. I'm, it's just my desk is a mess right now. And I'm having a McFlurry, the Stroop Waffle one from like around the world or whatever. So yeah, so I die cut all the little marshmallows. I ink around the edges. And then I use a little stamp set from Pink Fresh Studio. Again, the Magical Unicorn. These are the um, eyelashes. And uh, a quick review on this little um, dabber. I don't know if it's for nails or what, but this one works super cute to make the cheeks. So you pick up the Distress Ink and then dab it on and it just comes out super cute. And I use my jelly pen, my jelly roll pen to uh, put three little white dots on her cheeks. So yeah, this is how it looks in the back. I don't know how to cover this. If you guys have any ideas, um, please let me know. And um, the mistake that I did here was to putting the marshmallows in front of the cup. I feel like I should have put it behind it, like the one in the t-shirt. I don't know why I put it in front. I wasn't thinking. And then the second one is this one. So, oh, and I couldn't, I can't draw the mouth, like, it looks crooked, but it's okay, it is handmade. So later, I'm going to put to and from, and I'm going to have her use it as a tag or something, I don't know. So then my second one, I wanted to make it a little bit more traditional with, like, whipped cream, candy cane, and then her eyes closed. And again, I did the same thing. I dabbed a little bit of um, Distress Ink for her cheeks. I used my Jelly Roll for her cheeks, and that's it. This is how the back looks. This is some little glue. Oh, and I used um, this Sass Diamond Stickles for the whipped cream. 
so yeah that's pretty much it that's what i have done i really hope you guys like it because i really like my i really like what i created um if you guys want tutorials on these cups please let me know i'll go ahead and make new ones and um or on how to put this box together or whatever it's up to you but yeah thank you so much for watching and have a nice day Bye bye